Hello, I'm Callie. Have you ever given a speech where you felt like no one was paying attention? Today we'll talk about the importance of audience engagement. Thanks for visiting Toastmasters International. Since 1924, we've helped more than 4 million people gain the confidence to communicate in all circumstances. One of the most demanding situations you'll ever face is speaking to an audience. This video is part of a series of Toastmasters time-tested tips that will help you become a more confident speaker. In this video, we'll explore simple and effective ways to keep the audience's attention from start to finish. We will look at three areas of engagement. Let's start with preparation. Once you've chosen a topic, consider how you will tailor the message to fit the needs of the audience. Factor in demographics, interests, and desired outcome. As a general rule, customize each and every speech you deliver to keep it fresh for both the audience and yourself. If you're unclear about the demographics of the audience, ask the organizer. They will be able to share with you the makeup, culture, and needs of the attendees. There's a big difference between knowing your subject and knowing where your speech is headed. Practice is the bridge that spans the gap between knowledge and speech delivery. Practice your presentation from start to finish until you know it all, the open, body, and close by heart. Be sure to rehearse with any audio-visual materials you plan to use to seamlessly incorporate them into your speech. During practice, always have one eye on the clock. Finish within time and it will be easier to do so on delivery day. Now that we've covered the importance of thorough preparation, let's consider likability and the power of being authentically you. Today, audiences are hungrier than ever for real people and real stories. One great way to endear the audience to you is to embrace your imperfections by sprinkling in a quick example or two about wrong turns or lessons learned in your life. You're not only able to support your point, but the audience will appreciate you more for having the courage to show that you too are imperfectly human. Traveling to your speaking event can be stressful, so arrive at least 30 minutes early. This will give you time to relax and release any tension you may have. Remember, if you are stressed, the audience may be able to tell. So let them see the relaxed and confident person you are. As the attendees enter the room, talk with a few. Begin by introducing yourself and asking a quick question about them to create a connection. By chatting with attendees before you begin your presentation, you will be able to identify a friendly face during your speech, which also helps put your nerves at ease. When delivering a speech, it's important to keep the audience engaged from the first to the last word. The tone, volume, and speed of your voice will determine how the audience receives your message. The first thing to remember is to add vocal variety and dynamics to your voice when expressing an important point. Be careful not to deliver your speech in a monotone voice, as this can sound robotic and flat, and it's one sure way you can lose your audience. For example, here's how a monotone question sounds. Can you imagine a world without hunger? Now, here's that same question, except we're actually feeling the meaning of the words. Can you imagine a world without hunger? Big difference. Also, adding a pause in key places is an excellent technique to keep the audience engaged. With a second of silence, you can create suspense or allow the audience to reflect on a point you've just made. Pauses are a powerful attention getter. To reinforce an emotional connection with the audience, be aware of your facial expressions and physical movement. Are your expressions, gestures, and movement in line with your story? 
the way you express yourself can either enhance or detract from the message. Make certain that the way you move reinforces your words. Another way to engage the audience is through the use of visual aids. Working with visual aids like slides or a flip chart can help you support key points or highlight a few sections of your story. And it also shifts the audience's attention, allowing you to engage them through visual and conversational interaction. Now it's time to concentrate on the final step, the close. Throughout your speech, you did a great job using vocal techniques and stories to keep the audience engaged. And like the first sentence of your speech, the last is equally as important. In some cases, you may want to allow time for questions and answers before your closing remarks. Some questions can start off slowly. To offset this problem, have a few questions prepared in advance and say, I'm often asked, or enlist a friend or two to ask a few questions until the audience warms up. Once the Q&A has concluded, emphasize your core message with a definitive conclusion by either recapping your main points or by summarizing your speech's most important takeaways. The last idea you leave with an audience is often the most memorable. Incorporate these tips and techniques, and before you know it, you'll be a master at how to keep the audience engaged. For more information on keeping the audience engaged, visit a Toastmasters club. Find a location near you at toastmasters.org.